Hey everyone, my name is Emmanuel Knafo. I'm one of the founders of DevOps Shield. And in this video, I'll show you how to install the Docker version uh, or container version of DevOps Shield on AWS or Amazon Web Services. Once we're done, we will be able to, this will be done on light sale actually uh, for Amazon Web Services. And once we're done, we'll have something that looks like this and you can go ahead and open it and have an instance of DevOps Shield. All right, that's the end result or goal. Um, where do you find all of this and or how to and so on? Uh, I mean, apart from this video, obviously, you can also go to DevOps, the uh, Docker Hub and search for DevOps Shield with two S's. You'll find our container here that is publicly available and a very interesting document giving a walkthrough on how to install DevOps Shield um, on uh, a local uh, computer uh, using Docker Desktop or, of course, any of the clouds, the big three clouds. Uh, and, of course, we're focusing on the AWS Amazon LightSail uh, installation. So let me go ahead and click here. And this will give you even where to sign in to LightSail console. So let me go ahead and open that in a new tab. And here I am. So here we're in the instances. On the top left, you'll want to click on containers. Now, obviously, I already have a container. Yours might be empty, depending on whether you use LightSail or not. In any case, you should be able to create a container service. So we have one in Ohio right now that I just showed you at the beginning of the video. Let's start from scratch to make sure everything's working. Um, so first thing you'll want to do is basically change to the region that you want. I'm happy with Montreal, so I'm going to uh, pick Montreal here. Then pick your size. This one is free tier. Um, available, if you will. Um, it's the micro uh, instance, which has one gigabyte of RAM. Now that's pretty small, but should be enough for a, a small organization with a few projects. I wouldn't recommend going smaller than one gigabyte. Chances are you'll run out of uh, RAM. So the next thing is to uh, set up a deployment. So let me go ahead and do that. The first thing you'll want to do is don't take one of the out of boxes, but specify a custom deployment. Let's give it a, a container name. So for example, DevOps shield dash demo dash AWS. This time I'll call this um, number 12. Why not? Good number 12 right here. And uh, for the image and tag, you do the same as in Docker Hub, DevOps Shield forward slash DevOps Shield. And you do need to add an open port. Uh, so the container exposes port 8080 as it's running .NET Core 8. So you're going to want to uh, use port 8080 right here. And finally, we want to select a container. Obviously, can, uh, let's select the container that the only container we have in this deployment. I'm going to copy this container name because I like it to match, for example, the container service name. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that here. And notice this will be the default domain URL to access the application. Now, let me go ahead and create container service right now, and that should trigger the deployment. Notice we have our URL, we have to wait. Uh, it says pending right here, creating system resources, one out of seven. You'll wanna watch this, provisioning service and so on. And then also uh, wait for this to be active on the bottom. Um, chances are I'm going to pause this video. And we're back. Um, as you could see, it took a few minutes, uh, around three minutes, so maybe three to four minutes in all. Um, and we have status running right here, as well as active on the bottom. 
So I can go ahead and browse by clicking on this, maybe open it in a new tab. And indeed, you see that we have deployed it. We have the same URL, DevOps Shield Demo AWS 012, with a couple of random uh, letters and ending in amazonsale.com. It is through HTTPS. Of course, behind the scenes, it's routing back to port 8080. Should be the latest version, uh, 1.0.838 in this case. And you can go ahead and log in. Now the first login, you will need to log in with DevOps Shield and DevOps Shield. Username and password is the same as the hint says right here, and then log in. And of course, the first time uh, you will want to change the password you can use the one suggested by Edge if you happened to use Edge. Uh, and then go ahead and change the password. Or use your favorite password, of course. And then go to the dashboard. And you're all set. Um, so obviously, uh, there's no data right now. You would need to do this the first, the, the initial quick setup. And it's fairly straightforward. Click on Setup Configuration to the left, bottom left, and then the blue button Quick Setup gets started. And all you need is a few fields. You need to specify your tenant ID, aka Azure Active Directory or Microsoft Entra ID. Essentially, the Entra ID for um, that is backing the Azure DevOps organization. So basically, we're all your users, uh, the, the tenant that's hosting the Azure DevOps organization. Uh, for tenant name, you could put anything, but typically you might want to put your tenant, uh, like DevOpsShield.com. Uh, in the organization name here, you want to make it match an actual Azure DevOps organization. So you're going to want to put that name there that matches the real ADO organization. And finally, you're going to want to put a PAT access token. A full PAT is the best because it's going to give you a full view of the, the inventory and all the settings. Uh, so that's what we recommend putting right here. Once you're all done with that, you can click on Start Setup Now, and that will automatically trigger the first um, scan and for compliance and assessment and so on. Thanks uh, for joining, and thanks for, uh, hope you try this out soon. Um, and uh, see already, uh, start assessing your security posture for your Azure DevOps organization. Talk to you soon.